I know what you're thinking when you hear Oklahoma. Tornadoes, cowboys, cows roaming the street, and well, grass. But I'm here to show you there is so much more to Oklahoma. We have a bustling nightlife scene, thriving businesses, and much, much more. This is Everything Oklahoma. Hello, friends, and welcome back to Everything Oklahoma, where we talk about, well, everything Oklahoma. Don't forget to subscribe to become part of our Red Dirt family. Okay, hello guys. So in this video, the top 10 most unique things to do in Oklahoma City, I bet you haven't heard of some of them. All right guys, so starting with number one, I know I said this was going to be a list of more like outside of the box things to do, but you can't have a things to do list in Oklahoma without mentioning Route 66. Now, did you know the full length goes from LA to Chicago? But the longest run in terms of miles goes through Oklahoma diagonally. So basically Oklahoma City to Tulsa. And this route is just filled with historic engaging and really well-loved attractions along the way. You have tons of reasons to stop even throughout the state of Oklahoma. It's a great place to visit if you are a visitor, but it's also a really fun place to visit if you are from here and just want something else to do for the day. So coming in at number two, we have the J.M. Davis Arms and Historical Museum, which is a privately owned museum. I think that's so cool. Now it's home to over 50,000 items, including 12,000 firearms, some of them dating back to the 1300s. This museum gives a lot of information about Oklahoma City's history and also some of the surrounding areas. Now you will also see authentic riding saddles, Wild West items like spurs and Native American artifacts. And you're also going to see a gallery of outlaw owned guns. This is so cool. I have to be honest and say I've never been here, although I do want to check it out pretty soon. Number three, the Toy and Action Figure Museum. Now, this really fun place is located in the unassuming town of Paul's Valley. It's home to more than 13,000 individual and unique figures, most of which remain in their original packaging, not even open. Now, in my opinion, this is one of the most unique spots in Oklahoma. And get this, it is the only museum in the world dedicated to action figures and the art and culture surrounding them. I feel like this should be a museum that people from all over the country and the world are flocking to. Number four, the Henry Overholzer Mansion. I always feel like I mispronounce this name, so I apologize in advance because I know somebody's gonna comment on it. Okay, now this mansion is built in 1903 by a man that some people say or name as the founder of Oklahoma City. The Henry Overholzer Mansion is believed to be the very first mansion in the Oklahoma City area. Now this mansion contains 20 rooms on three floors. You guys, that's a huge house even like in today's time to build today. But in that time, in the early 1900s, 1903 before Oklahoma was a state, I mean, this was like, this was magnificent. It was amazing and it's still standing. So you definitely need to make sure you can swing by and check it out. All right, so next on our little tour is the Museum of the Great Plains, which is located on Northwest Ferris Avenue in Lawton, Oklahoma. Now, if you are a fan of natural history, you're going to find this museum absolutely awe-inspiring and amazing. It's a great place to go and visit. Now, you're going to find tons of hands-on displays. You're going to learn about the Native American culture, especially tribes that were in this region during this time. You're going to learn about the cultural heritage of the West, pioneers, just kind of all this stuff that when mixed all together make Oklahoma, Oklahoma. So many structures and things to do to keep your kid busy for hours. All right, so here's one I am quite sure that a lot of you haven't heard of. This is Ed Galloway's Totem Pole Park. Now this is gonna be located in Chelsea, Oklahoma, 
which if you are not familiar, that's going to be the northeastern section of the state, kind of between Bartersville and Pryor. Now, this is just basically a piece of land I believe his home was on, and he started constructing these beautiful totem poles out of concrete. It is so amazing. It's so cool. You have to go check this out. And I really, that one is a 90 foot totem pole, which was, I think, the second largest in the nation. And you guys, I want to check this out, but I want to know why I never knew this existed until now. It's so cool. All right, so this next unique home we are going to talk about is the Cave House of Tulsa. It's a one a kind, one of a kind spot found, of course, in Tulsa. Now, it was initially built as a cave restaurant speakeasy during the 1920s Prohibition era, and it welcomed outlaws and other unsavory characters, according to that. It's now owned by a private mother and daughter pair, and they've decorated the inside of the house with recycled items, and just, it's a haphazard of mazes and stucco walls and curves and slides and just... I really want to go see this house. It seems fun. Now, it is said that this house is haunted because there's a tunnel network beneath the cave house. Remember, it was kind of built during the Prohibition era. And it is said that these tunnels contain dead bodies. Do you think that's true? Comment down below and let me know. So next, let's swing by the 99's Museum of Women's Pilots. Now... The 99's Museum of Women's Pilots offers a close look at the history of women pilots. It is the world's only museum dedicated to women pilots, making it one of the most unique and should be protected attractions here in Oklahoma. Now you may want to know how this museum got its name and I have the story right here and it's a really cool one. So there was an air race classic and it was the first air race that did not bar women pilots. Now of the 20 women who participated in this heavily criticized race and of course they were criticized for allowing women to compete. 14 completed it which is a really big number considering the fact that some of them were sabotaged by male pilots. So the racers then decided to form an organization for women pilots and of the 117 women pilots in the nation, 99 agreed to form this organization, which is how it got its name, the 99s. So the Woody Guthrie Center is a museum dedicated to world-renowned Oklahoma-born folk singer Woody Guthrie. Now if the name doesn't sound familiar, he is the man that wrote This Land Is Your Land. Oh my goodness, I was actually about to um, drift off into song for you guys, but yeah, I just remembered I can't sing, so that's probably not the best thing. But actually, this song's original lyrics as handwritten by Guthrie himself are on display at the center. And it's one of the most interesting specialized Oklahoma attractions that you'll find. Okay, so the last stop on our list is gonna be the Cherokee Heritage Center, which is situated in what is pretty widely considered the capital of the Cherokee Indian Nation, Tahlequah. Actually, it's in Park Hill, but that's only about 10 minutes for Tahlequah, so, you know. Now, it is going to be right on the border of Arkansas and Muskogee. And seriously, this museum and history center is one of the most exciting places in Oklahoma. Now, if you go here to visit, you're going to gain tons of insight into Native American history and an educational but yet engaging way. That's the key for me. Now, they also have a huge outdoor museum space space where exhibits recreate a 1710 Cherokee village, the year 1710 that is. There's so many things to see and do. This is definitely a spot that you would want to visit whether you live here or you're just visiting. Okay guys, so let me know what you thought about this video down in the comment section. Thanks for hanging out today. Drop some video ideas below and we will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.